County Schools Television presents High School Football. Tonight, from Lafayette High School, it's the Lafayette Generals versus the Bryan Station Defenders. Your announcers for tonight's game, Dick Simpson and Stan Lovett. and welcome to High School Football on Channel 13. Tonight, from Ishmael Stadium on the campus of Lafayette High School, we have the Lafayette Generals taking on the Bryan Station Defenders. I'm Dick Simpson along with Stan Lovett. And Stan, tonight we have two teams going in opposite directions. We have the Lafayette Generals coming into tonight's game with a record of four and two, having won three consecutive ball games. While Bryan Station uh, comes into tonight's game with a record of two and four, having lost their last two games. So Bryan Station is trying to get back uh, on the winning track tonight and uh, pick up a key district game. Big game it is for Bryan yeah. Station, Dick, as they need this one to tie. Uh, of course, Lafayette a couple of weeks ago defeated Tate's Creek to go 1-0, and and they tie with Henry Clay, who defeated uh, Bryan Station a few weeks ago at 1-0. and That's right. Going through some of the key personnel, Stan, that will play a big factor in tonight's game. First for Bryan Station. Uh, you talk about Bryan Station. They're led by two excellent offensive players, Don Jenkins, the quarterback, and William Dishman, the tailback. Well, Dishman is certainly a quality running back, Dick. Uh, he's a very elusive uh, halfback. He likes to get the football, and it, with the line play that they've been getting with Antoine Slaughter and Chris Heiler, and uh, among others, they do a good job in blocking for Dishman, and Don Jenkins can go back in the pocket. If he doesn't find anyone to throw it, he'll, he'll run it, Dick. For Lafayette, they're led by outstanding offensive personnel also in the form of Matt Gay and Antoine George. Uh, Gay, the quarterback, George, the tailback, have uh, led an offensive resurgence here in recent games for Lafayette as they've changed offenses and have really uh, improved their offensive uh, performances. Stan Lovett will take you through the first half of action in tonight's game, so Stan, take it away. Thank you very much, Dick, and John Brown will tee it up on the right pass mark on the 40-yard line where he'll... Kick to Deep Johnson along with Thomas Coates. And the ball is away and kick to Coates and Coates will pick it up on his 10 to about the 20 yard line. Nice running by Thomas Coates of Lafayette where he stacked by Sterling Ward among others on that play. And so it'll be Lafayette taking the football in the first position on their own, let's call it the 25 yard line. Put it about the 26 as it's a bit over the 25 yard line. Lafayette will probably go. We'll wait and see as they come out. They might have changed a little bit, but we think it'll be Matthew Gay starting at quarterback along with Coates, Antoine George. And that's what we get along with Lunsford, who is a wing to that side. They give it to Lunsford, and he's stacked by the Bryan Station interior wall. Stan Antoine Slaughter, number 54, in on the head. A big hit for Slaughter. We saw him play in the Henry Clay game about a month ago, Stan, and put on a great show in that ball game, and he was the first one in on the hit on that play. Well, he covers a lot of territory, Dick, and uh, he's, he's certainly a fine athlete, along with Doug Craycraft, who's starting in the interior defensive line there for Bryan Station. Here we go with second down and about 10 yards to go as they stack to the line of scrimmage for Lafayette. And Matthew Gay runs it back to Antoine George, finding running room a little bit on this side as he picks up a couple of yards. The hit was made by number 12, Don Jenkins. Antoine George uh, inserted into the starting offense stand about three weeks ago, along with Mark Lunsford and Thomas Coates and Matt Gay, a completely new offensive backfield for Lafayette, and it's paid, paid off for Lafayette as they pulled off three consecutive victories. That's about the time, Dick, that they start their, started their resurgence when they went to the new offensive backfield. Looks very impressive. He picked up about three yards, call it third down, and about six yards left to go. The ball is placed on the 30-yard line, hash mark toward us. Ball taken by Gay and comes up past the line for a couple of yards, but he's going to be shy of the first down by about three yards. Derek Thomas, number 58, and number 70, Doug Craycraft, in on the hit for Bryan Station. Picked up a yard is all, and will force Lafayette into a punting down. So very good defense by Bryan Station as they snuff the Lafayette's first offensive drive back for punting will be Lafayette's Bruce Wise. Snapping the football will be number 52, and that's Brent Ballard. Wise stands on his 20-yard line as he'll be snapping and right now kicking. Nice kick by Wise. 
taken and down by Brian Station. And that was number 38, Darwin Briscoe. Tom Packer tripped up Briscoe, coming down from his guard position. Good play by Tom Packer, number 62, as Brian Station will start. Stand in good field position at approximately the 37 yard line. It's very hard to call the yard lines over here at Lafayette. Stan will try to do the best we can. We're going to have to line it up from the far sideline. They can come this way. Briscoe will go wide to that side. Over here we get Mark Taylor wide out to this side with one back in the backfield as Don Jenkins will call his play. It's a double wing. They flip it back to Dishman, and Dishman's running hard but getting nowhere. Beautiful defense by Lafayette. 59, Jeff Waters comes up off the stack for Lafayette, 6'1", 200 pound senior, among others, clogging up the left side of the Lafayette line. That would be the right side of Ryan Station. Ryan Station so far gained nothing on that. They'll put it right back on the 35, 37 yard line. So make it third, uh, first, second down and 10 yards to go. They flank wide outs, both left and right. That's Briscoe and Taylor. And back to throw goes Jenkins. He's a daring runner. He can, he can run. But Lafayette does a great job in the defense, in the offensive backfield as they come in and knock him down. Good rush by the Lafayette defensive people. Number 82, David Barosic, uh, brought Jenkins down. Jenkins was looking for the receivers, and they were covered by the Lafayette secondary. And we'll bring up a third and 13 situation. So far, no team has shown a whole lot of offense in their just their first series of downs. Lafayette could muster no first down in their first position. Now here comes Brian Station, and they're faced with third down and 12 yards to go. They send a double wing as they give it to Dishman, and he finds running room, but not quite enough for a first down. Picked up a few yards. That's not Dishman. Looks like number 58. That is uh, uh, Thomas, Derek Thomas. Stan, I think Dishman was right. the runner on that play. It was. Look, I saw Thomas get up, but I believe it was Dishman. You're right, Dick. Derek Thomas is on the offensive line there, Stan. Did a good job opening holes. I thought it was Dishman as he ran very well, and so Thomas did a good job in leading blocking for him, but not quite enough for the first down. Call it fourth down and four yards to go. Back punting will be Don Jenkins. He stands on his 30-yard line as Johnson, number nine, Vic Johnson, stands back, flanked by Antoine Brown. That's a low snap. Lafayette could get to it, but he gets a nice kick away that Johnson calls him. Takes on about the 20-yard line. Little confusion at the start of that play for Brian Station. They barely got it within the 30-second time allotment stand. So Lafayette will start their second offensive series of the ball game at the 21-yard line. Stan Lafayette's only two losses this year have been to Corbin and to Kaywood, two teams, two outstanding football teams from the eastern part of the state. And I know you're a big fan of that area of football, Stan. You say Corbin may be the best team in the state. I wouldn't. I would put them right up there with anybody, Dick Ballard or anybody. They are loaded, and so is Kaywood. Both undefeated. Right. Here we go back to the tailback, Antoine George. And George is nailed for a couple of yards by a good Bryan Station line. We'll pick them up as they come off the stack. I believe Derek Thomas was in on the hit stand there for, for Brian Station. Right, number 54 also, and of course that's uh, Slaughter as he gets up off the stack. I tell you what, Dick, it's uh, very hard moving through the center of both these lines. These defenses playing very well right now. Lafayette comes out as Matthew Gay shows us an eye formation in the backfield. Back to throw goes Gay. Deep drop, looking low, looking long for Johnson's picked off though by Number 12, that is Don Jenkins, and he's going to run all the way down to the 10-yard line. He's going to score. Stand. He's going to go all the way. I believe he might have been brought down by about the two-yard line, Dick, but Don Jenkins picked that football up and rumbled as he found opening to the right side. Stan, he got down to the four-yard line, a return of about 36 yards on the inter... A return of about 36 yards on the interception. Uh, the pass was a little underthrown. Jenkins was there. And he showed what he can do, Stan, when he gets the football. He's an outstanding runner, and he's playing uh, defensive back in this ball game, replacing an injured starter, David Wilson. But uh, Jenkins has played that position a lot this year. And now, Brian Station, uh, with the first break of the game, trying to capitalize. Full house backfield as Don Jenkins has Briscoe wide to this side. He ends in tight that way. They go to Harden, and Harden rambles in for... Close to a touchdown. I don't believe he's failed a single. Yet he fumbled the football. Lafayette picked it up, Dick, as they stopped him. And I believe Lafayette looks like 
Number 73 got off the stack, and that might be Jamie McCarty. I don't know who picked it up, but he might have just lost it as he hit the line of scrimmage. I thought he might go all the way, but all of a sudden, the ball popped loose, and Lafayette picked it up. Well, Stan, that's been the story for Bryan Station all year. They move the football well or get a break, get it inside the 10-yard line, and then just fall apart. And Stan, I believe it's going to be a... Evidently, he fumbled before he got in the end zone. It went out for a touchback, so Lafayette will play it, Dick, on their own 20-yard line. Big break. But anyway, Stan, that was has been the uh, really the major problem for Bryan Station all year, turnovers inside the 10. Now here we go with Lafayette as they give it off to Antoine George, and he comes up for a couple of yards past the 20-yard line to about the 26-yard line where he's knocked down by Darwin Bristow, but he picks up yardage. Good play as they ran the beer off to the right side. Call it second down and five yards to go. Place the football on the 25-yard line. Thanks, Mark, toward us. Lafayette has Daniel Scholes uh, tied in on this side. Shea Fister is a wing to that side as they give it back to George. This time, Brian Station comes up, meets the challenge very well after about a yard gain. He's close to the 30-yard line. We'll wait and see where they place the football. Getting up off the stack again is Darwin Briscoe. 58, Stan. Derek Thomas made the initial hit on Antoine George. Picked up four on the play, Stan. Third and one. It's going to be third down and a shy of one yard left to go for Lafayette as they try to pick up their first first down of the football game. Ball placed on the 26, uh, make that the 29-yard line with an eye formation. That's Coates behind Gay, and Gay picks up the first down as he runs past Brent Ballard along with Tom Snyder, Stand. along with number 62, Tom Packer. So good play by Lafayette as Matthew Gay picks up the first first down in the football game. Stan, the Bryan Station defense is really going to have to buckle down. It's a... Uh, it's a bitter turnover down there when you get it inside the three. Now the defense is going to have to keep their heads up and uh, stop this Lafayette team because Lafayette feels now they have a, a surge of momentum that uh, may take them down the field. You're exactly right as they swing it out here to Brown, and Brown finds a little running room. Nice Bubble play. stand. Bubble, and I believe Brown Station, the way they're jumping up and down, may think they have it. We'll wait and see. Yes, the official has signaled that Brown Station's football. So, again, a turnover. Well, so be it. Well, Stan, the game has been marred by turnovers so far. George looked like he turned the corner, picked up about four or five on the play, and a turnover, the second turnover of the game for Lafayette. So, Brian Station turns it over. Now, Lafayette turns it right back over to them. They'll place the football on the 25-30, make it the 34, 30, 36-yard line. <laughs> as they go into a double wing, as Brian Station does. They send Harden that way, but they give it off to the first man through, and that's Dunn, I believe. Dan, Stan, I believe it's Dishman. All right, Dishman. He was met hard, crossing the line of scrimmage by the interior of the Lafayette defensive line, and not did not pick up much uh, yardage on the play. He was held uh, way below his average in their last game against Laurel County, Stan. Uh, Laurel County played him well. He only gained 43 yards against Laurel County. Picked up two, Dick, so that'll put it a second down and eight yards to go as they swing a wide out this way. And that's Briscoe this way with an open set as they go back to Harden, and Harden runs wide, but beautiful tackling by Lafayette. 17, Mark Lunser made a good play from his linebacker position. The leading tackler on the Lafayette squad stopped Harden. Uh, Stan, we've watched Lunsford now for a couple of years. He's an outstanding ball player. Definitely, uh, he was an all-city performer a year ago and a definite repeat for this year's squad. Oh, he's a dandy. He's six foot, 185 pounds. He's a singer. He's a dandy. He will be in on a numerous hits tonight. They go back to the open set backfield. Almost a double wing as they swing this time. They give it to Dishman, and Dishman bangs and battles almost to the first down yardage, but he's going to be about a couple of yards shy. Place the football on the 28-yard line of Bryan Station, or in Lafayette territory, so it'll be about third down, and I'll call it one yard left to go. Closer to about a half a yard, the way they're placing the football now for Bryan Station. Stan is fourth down. Fourth down and Fourth and one. one. So Brian Station will go as they send out number 23 wide to that side. That's John Brown. And they go back to the double wing and they have a whistle and a foul on that one. 
penalty against Brian Stoson. Play a game, Stan. Well, Didn't get the playoff. Ball. Didn't get the playoff within the 30 seconds, and on fourth and one, that hurts, and that now hurts. they may have to punt the football. That does hurt. They were fourth and inches the way, and now they're going to be fourth and about six or five yards, so that may change the complexion of their offensive calling there. So, Brian Station, though, has the ability to make the big play, so we'll see if they can do it this time. Briscoe wide to that side. Mark Taylor wide to this side. They go with a double wing, almost a double slot, we'll call it. Back Going for it. Stand on fourth and six. He's got almost he just a bit over to him, Dick, as they try to go the post pattern there with Briscoe. Nice coverage by Vic Johnson. So it'll be over to Lafayette. Lafayette Stan will take over in good field position at about the 33-32 yard line. So turnover stand here with about three minutes to play the first quarter. It's been turnover after turnover. Two by Lafayette, one by Bryan Station, a costly one down at about the three yard line as they appear to be in prime position to put up six on the board. But uh, like I mentioned earlier, it's been their nagging problem all year. Until they can get that problem resolved, Stan, it's really going to be hard to pull out some victories. When you get it down inside the five, you, you really want to get some points on the board. Well, I really thought he's going to take it in, Dick, the way he had the momentum going. Brian Station there, and I thought, uh, thought he'd carry it in, but it wasn't meant to be. And so they fumbled, and now here we go back to Lafayette, as Lafayette will play it with three minutes and seven seconds left to go in the first quarter. Stan, so, go ahead, Dick. Word about the officials to tonight's game. The referee is Ken Tate, the umpire John Vandermeer, the field judge Jim Branham, the headlinesman Joby Gastonal, and the back judge is Grant Satterley. So those are the officials calling the game tonight. Ball will be placed at about the 27-yard line, Dick. And so as Lafayette takes a little long, and so does Brian Station on this lengthy timeout. To get the play in motion, uh, Lafayette, of course, is coached by Tom Fee, assisted by Skip Hansen, Bill Scott, Terry Clark, and Scott Brewer. The principal at Lafayette is Dwight Price, and at Bryan Station, the principal is John Akers. The head coach, of course, is Steve Parker. He's assisted by Frank Watson, Mike Meehan, George Barber, and Don Young. Here we go, Lafayette on offense, Bryan Station on defense. Lafayette plays the football, and so we'll see what they do. Matthew Gay, Matt Gay is the quarterback, six foot, 165 pounds as he goes to George. A quick trap up, a quick opener up the middle, just a little dive play across to about the 30 yard line, gain of a couple of yards. David Hearn, you know, on the hit for Brian Station, a linebacker replacing William Dishman, Stan. Uh, he's played the last three or four games and really done a fine job for Brian Station. David Hearn, number 43, in on the hit. Shea Fister, it will line up a tight end to that side. He's number 25. We have no wide outs to this side as they give us Matt Gay with it, and he'll give off to Lunsford. Lunsford runs past the line of scrimmage and comes up to about the 35-yard line. Not quite enough for a first down, but nice running by Mark Lunsford. A hard runner is Lunsford. He and Johnson running the plays for Lafayette. They come in on alternate downs. And there's only one way, Stan, that Mark Lunsford plays during a football game. That's all out for the entire length of the game. And offensively or defensively, it really doesn't matter. He goes all out. He plays both ways. He's got to be a tired man after this, after these football games is over. Daniel Schultz lines up tight into this side as Matt Gay calls his play and gives it back to George. George finds running room, first down territory as he comes up past the 40-yard line. Kyle, they're going to put it right at about the 40-yard line, make that the 45-yard line. Brought down by Antoine Brown, Stan, in the defensive secondary, along with Don Jenkins. Good blocking by the Lafayette offensive people. The center, Brent Ballard, Tom Snyder, and running right over that position and George has found a lot of success uh, running it over that over those guards opposed to that line is Andre White number 44 as Matt Gay gives it to Lunsford on a trap and he comes up past the line of scrimmage nice running by Mark Lunsford tackled by Antoine Brown yeah. well Stan we lost our pitcher there for a couple of minutes we missed a holding penalty on Lafayette so it's second and 16 Lafayette. We missed a couple of plays. We they apologize for that. Flip it back here to Porter. He finds Fister, but Fister cannot quite get to it. Beautiful play by 
Lafayette as they tried to go with Chris Porter and trying to hit Shea Fister, and Fister had beaten his man down there, and the pass was just a bit underthrown, or overthrown, rather. So it'll come back and make it third down and 16 yards to go. Nice play by Lafayette. Brian Station now shifts defensive personnel back, anticipating maybe another pass by Lafayette. Lafayette's Mad Gay brings him out, looks at a 50, a loosely 53 defense as Gay goes back, being blitzed. Oh, he's nailed. oh what a play. Craig Brock stands, number 18. No one touched him, and he nailed him, Dick, along with Richard Johnson. And boy, those two kids were in there like a like Flynn on that one <laughs> as they blasted him real good. And that'll believe Stan will mark the end of the first quarter. As the clock ticks down, the end of the first quarter. With the score, Lafayette nothing, Bryan Station, Bryan Station nothing.